Alright guys, Zone Designs here. I've got a nice interview here with uh, Strikes. How you doing today, man? I'm right, how about you? I'm, I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. Uh, why don't you tell me about yourself? Well, my name is Nathan Rue, or Strikes, whatever you want to call me. I am 16 years old, and I actually am um, a junior in high school. And I go to Williamsville South, but also take a career like class at Harkness. And I heard you were big into YouTube. Yeah, I'm really big into YouTube. Actually, it's been one of my biggest hobbies. I think for a while now, it's been a long time ever since I started, but it's one of my best passions and I love editing and everything about it. After, or what was one of your biggest reasons for getting into YouTube? One of my biggest reasons, ooh, there's a lot, but one of my main reasons was because back then, like, people would try to record their gameplay and everything, like Call of Duty, stuff back like the, that. Back in Modern Warfare 2 days? Yeah, 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 I remember those days. Those days were a lot of fun. Um, and people would always go like crazy because they couldn't record like their kill cam and stuff. And you couldn't like record your kill cam without the Elgato or any HD PVR recording system. So I was waiting for one like for so badly or for so long, and I got one at Christmas finally. And I finally started getting into like recording like what I was doing on the game. And a lot of my friends wanted to do it with me, like you know, record episodes of like trick shotting. Like, yep, yep. Show I remember what we could I was do. big into those too a few years ago. Yeah, all uh, that kind of stuff. It was fun. When, when you first started YouTube, what were some goals or dreams you had? Oof. Um, some goals? I definitely wanted 100 subscribers, first of all. And I actually just hit that. I made a that's celebration awesome, video. That's awesome, yeah, yeah um, I made a celebration video yesterday and I got a ton of support. I think it's almost at 30 likes with 100 views in like a day or something like that. That's, that's awesome to see the amount of support of something that I worked on for a long time. That's always awesome. Uh, when you started YouTube two or three years ago, who who helped you get yourself up off the ground? Who helped you get yourself set up? Um, I had a lot of people. Yeah, you know, there's so many people that helped support me. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that have came to me and just say, you know, if you want to make a video, just get it over with. If you're getting stressed out, you're gonna miss a day of uploads. Just upload. I'll help you. Um, there's like this guy is Seawood. He is the leader of the old team. I was in EDK. They are back, by the way. We are back. Um, and let's see, Annexy, he's one of the main contributors uh, for my channel because he has been helping me so much with editing and like ideas because he like himself has a personal like YouTube channel and he like knows a lot about it so they've been helping me a lot. After, after your time in YouTube, what keeps you motivated and willing to do it? Because some people, if they don't get a bunch of big success early, they get frustrated and quit. Yeah. So what's your motivation to keep yourself going? Um, I definitely think the motivation, you, you're going to hear this from almost every YouTuber out there that gets like, you know, support and grows a lot, but it's mainly from the fan base. I try to grow that as much as I can, but the people that watch your videos and give you like all the support, leaving likes, comments saying like, good job, nice video, all those people just like give me like motivation to keep growing, keep doing more stuff, um, and that's just what I love about it. As far as you've gotten, what are some things you plan to do to continue your growth and get yourself out there and get done? What do I plan on doing? Yeah, what do you plan on like what do you plan on doing like editing wise, video recording wise? I'm trying to upgrade on my editing software now. I want something that's a lot more professional so I can do more stuff with my videos. Um, I currently right now I actually use iMovie and the problem with that is iMovie only allows you to have two video layouts or formats. So I have my face cam, which has the blue snowball connected to it so I can record my audio and face cam. And then I have the Elgato gameplay, and then I have to sync it up, and it's just... Sometimes if I want to add more than two things into my videos, I actually have to, um, you know, upload the video and make it unlisted and then download it to my computer. And then I can add more stuff to it and then upload it again. Uh, what has been some of the biggest challenges to getting as far as you have? Uploading consistently. Um, that's definitely something that's very hard for me because um, there are so many like different problems that you might have, like with you know computer problems or recording or uh, just simply running out of ideas. Because ideas is like so important for what you want to do. Because if you upload a video, like a video that's like a minute long with nothing in it, it's like kind of half-assed. Like yeah. it's just no one cares about it. Then that's not good. That doesn't. Do you feel you've done everything you can to accomplish some of these goals? You know, I'm going to be honest, no, because there's always room for improvement, there's always room to expand your channel, and there's so many, like, like things that I have to improve on, like, uploading consistently, like, figuring out a schedule for when I, like, want to upload, and, like, making sure I'm on time with everything, so. Do you 
feel that YouTube is something uh, you plan on continuing here in the future? Oh, definitely. You know, I since I've been doing YouTube for so long, it has actually become like it's part of my life now because I've been it's such a big routine and I've been doing it for so long that it's something that I don't think I'll ever like let go because I just love editing. Um, and I, I went to the career school that I go to right now at Harkness, it's digital media. I go to that class so I can actually improve my editing skills and try to become better. So. After talking about everything you've done and you've accomplished and your goals and so far, what are some of the videos you make on your channel so if people want to go check you out, they can? Um, I make a, like a huge variety of different types of videos because when people see like the same type of videos over and over again, like repetitive cut comms, repetitive just same old gameplays and all that, no one really enjoys watching that because it, it's kind of become their own routine to watch that type of video. So you, you yourself as a YouTuber, your job to entertain your viewers is to come up with different ideas and you know things that they haven't seen already, so it's more interesting. Definitely. I, I agree because me being a personal YouTube, YouTuber and YouTube watcher myself, I don't watch TV anymore. I really watch yep. people's YouTube things and stuff. I really like to see when people are changing it up, getting different ideas, different yeah. vlogs, different challenges. You know, I mean, listen again, it's good to get back to your Call of Duty cut comps. Those are always just funny. Yeah. Those are always just the classics. But uh, it was great to see you here. Thank definitely, you. Definitely had a good time. Thank you for having me. Anytime. That's well, awesome. I'll talk to you guys later.